Welcome back to Hardware Unbox for more Computex coverage. This time I have a heap of eye candy for you guys at the Thermaltake booth. But before that though, we'll quickly show MSI some love for sending me to Computex. If you're in the market for a new gaming desktop PC, then check out MSI's new high-end Core i7 systems. Also, right now they are offering a free Uplay game key for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands with select purchases. It's also possible to score a Wildlands game code with select MSI motherboards. Check out the new X99, Z270 and a H270 range. Link is in the video description. Without question, one of the most impressive displays that I've come across yet was this, the Thermaltake booth. The Thermaltake team has fully embraced two things for this event, RGB lights and extreme PC modding. Starting my tour, I began with this, the new, and by new I mean yet to be released, View 91 TG. This behemoth sports a pair of massive 5mm thick tempered glass doors, and given their size and thickness, they no doubt weigh quite a bit. Helping users deal with removing the huge glass panels are a pair of heavy duty hinges on each door. By removing just two thumb screws, the side panels remove like actual doors, which is very cool indeed. The door panels can also be completely removed by lifting them off the hinges. The case is very flexible in what it can house as well, offering support for anywhere between 3 and 10 3.5 inch drives, depending on the configuration. There's plenty of options for liquid cooling as well, with accommodation for a 560mm radiator on the top and a 480mm radiator in the front. Also, the case comes with four ring fans installed. They are 140mm fans and they feature blue LEDs. Next up we have the View 71 TG, another yet to be released case scheduled for release later this year. I believe Thermaltake said they are targeting somewhere around November. This model features not one, not two, but rather four side panels wrapped in glass. Something I found really interesting about this case is that it can mount a radiator inside against the motherboard tray. Here it pushes air out the back side panel, or I suppose the right side panel. This is a unique setup that I'd like to take a closer look at in the near future. Then the last yet to be released case that I stumbled upon was this guy, the View 21 TG. And yes, we have another tempered glass case here, but I think you guys are really going to be interested in this one. This smart looking case will be hitting shelves with an asking price of just $70 Aussie. So that translates to about $50 US. Apart from the nice tempered glass, you get a case that supports a 360mm radiator in the top and front along with a separate basement section for the power supply and all those messy cables. This is a seriously awesome looking budget case, or at least an affordable case, so keep an eye out for that one. Next up we have this insane looking Core P7 setup, sporting more flashing lights than a Maya Christmas tree display. The point of this display was to show that Thermaltake can now link up and synchronize their RGB power supplies, ring fans, water blocks, light strips, reservoirs, and radiators. Yes, you heard that last bit right, Thermaltake's now making RGB radiators. RGB radiators might not excite all of you, but I know what will, copper radiators. Thermaltake will finally be offering radiators constructed from copper later this year, and they tell me that there will be 240, 360, and 480 millimeter models available. As you might expect, they will come at a price premium over the current aluminium models, but exact details aren't available at this time. Thermaltake's also upgraded their W4 water block with a new plus version featuring improved RGB lighting. Now there's 16.8 million colors and you have eight LEDs embedded around the, uh, the acrylic section of the block. So that's pretty cool. Before jumping to the case mods, I was shown this, the ultimate green team fanboy accessory. Hopefully there will be an AMD version as well, but no word on that at this point. Anyway, Thermaltake developed this case in collaboration with Nvidia, so no surprises there. The case is slated for release in three months time for a rather reasonable price of $120 Australian. I'm not normally into these kinds of fanboy type products, but I have to say Thermaltake has done a really good job of making this thing look a bit special. Moving on, I came across this beauty, the Thermaltake Level 20 Titanium. This is a concept design chassis, but Thermaltake have been working on it for a very long time. The case looks like it would lend itself very well to a modular type design, almost like a Lego block PC, but Thermaltake wasn't confirming anything about this when I asked. What they did say is that each chamber, or I'm going to call them modules, is designed to house different hardware. For example, in the front the case can install radiators, fans, pumps and reservoirs like Thermaltake have in this demo build, or you could simply fill it with storage drives, and I think it will accommodate for something like 16 hard drives, so that's 
pretty crazy. Then up top we obviously have the power supply and this can be mounted vertically or horizontally and there's also the front panel I.O. stuff at the front of that module. Finally we have the largest module which is of course housing the motherboard, graphics card and so on. The glass panels for each module open up on hinges and this provides easy access to the hardware inside. I have to say coming from the level 10 design which was highly unique but also highly impractical, the level 20 not only looks even better but I feel this is a case you could actually live with. Okay so now the modded stuff, the extremely modded stuff. First we have this Tower 900 build which has been given a Donkey Kong theme. This was put together by Thermaltake's USA team and I believe they completed the build within about a week so that's very impressive. This mod was created by Ron Lee Christensen, and Ron is a US based modder. This is of course another Tower 900 mod, and most of the cases on display were based upon that chassis. This though was one of the more extreme examples, and apparently three months of work went into this mod, so that's some serious dedication. Those of you who really enjoy Titanfall 2 will want to take this beauty home. The creator Jesse is from the Philippines and he dedicated this build to his grandmother who sadly recently passed away, naming it Liberty after her so that's really nice. The build is extremely well crafted though sadly like many of the systems wrapped in glass I had a hard time getting the right angles to really do it justice. Here we have one of the most outlandish looking builds and this was created by a Brazilian modder. This thing is based on Thermaltake's Core X71 and it's hard to say what if anything from the original chassis made it into this final product. I guess there's cut up bits of X71 all over the place. Anyway, a very cool system indeed. There's still more than half a dozen modded systems to look at, so rather than talk you through all of them, let's quickly admire the display. Well guys, there you have it. This is without question one of the most eye-catching displays I've seen yet at Computex 2017. Thermaltake has a mountain of new products coming later in the year. A lot of them look very exciting and I can't wait to check them out, particularly those more affordable tempered glass cases. Those looked really nice. I hope you enjoyed the Thermaltake coverage. I'm your host Steve. I'll see you guys again real soon.